Hey guys, how are you? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a text based calendar from scratch without using any external module. So let's start our coding without wasting our time. First, uh, let me clear some uh, points uh, we have to cover to create the calendar. Uh, first we have to uh, check if the year is leap year or not a leap year okay so we have to check leap year and uh, we will also need to get days in a month get days in a month and then we will work to uh, get the first day of the month first day of the month right after this we will uh, see how to print the calendar so we will work on the formatting and uh, print the calendar there so uh, printing the calendar these are our tasks tasks to do right so let's start now first we have to check if the year is leap or not so uh, let me create a function is leap year it will accept year Okay, I'm using modulus to find if it's um, a leap pair or not. Okay, this this function will uh, help us finding uh, if the year is leap or not in our next task is to get days in a month so let me create another function to get days in a month get days in month and it will accept month and year if month in mm, uh, we have to see uh, what uh, what are the months that have uh, 31 days so uh, January February March and May and July so one uh, February March 3 April May uh, so one three five and seven eight and um, ten and twelve yeah December also have 31 and November also have 31 days right so if the given month in uh, uh, these numbers then it will return 31 as if month in uh, now we have to see what are the months that have uh, 30 days so uh, what uh, months are missing here you can see now here we will use um, 4 6 9 11 right return 30 now here we have to check for February uh, usually Feb have uh, uh, 29 days right and uh, um, 
sorry if it's a, a leap year it uh, will return uh, 29 yeah and usually fab has 28 days so alif month is 2 which is february now here return 29 if is leap year otherwise else it will return 28 right now here return 0 by default now our next task is to find the first day of the month okay this is our next task we have to identify the first day right so let me create another function and it will also accept two parameter month here now here we have to apply some algorithm uh, which is uh, a Zeller's congruence algorithm and we are going to use it right <coughs> sorry guys so uh, here we have to apply the logic if month is less than 3 12 right actually in Zeller's congruence the January is the 13th month of the previous year and uh, the February is the 14th month of previous year so for that we have to apply uh, this algorithm um, I am naming here it's Zeller's congruence Here, right so we have to check for the previous year as I said in Zeller's congruence the January is the 13th month and February is the 14th month of the previous year that's why I am um, applying this uh, algorithm and this is uh, usually used uh, for identifying the first day of the month day of the month okay plus k plus k4 guys don't forget to like and share my video and if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe it Okay, we are done with this function as well now 
we are almost done with the main logic of calendar now we have to print the calendar so we have to write our last function to print the calendar okay now I mistype here calendar let's create the function print calendar and it will also accept two parameters month and year now days in month we have days in month first day we have uh, get first day of month and here we have uh, we have to also pass a month here month here now we have to print the calendar header Right, print man for Tuesday, wet Thursday, Friday, set and sun. Now we have to um, print some leading spaces for the first uh, first day. Or in range first day and print now we have to print days of the month for day in range Days in month if first day okay seven. Print empty. Let's print the new line. Final. Okay, it's also done. Now we simply need to uh, provide the month and the year to print the calendar. So why not we just accept the user input for that? Okay, we will ask user to input uh, month and year and then finally we will print our calendar by providing month and year. Let's run the program. I hope I did everything good without error or oh, let's try it. Okay, uh, it's uh, 12th month December, so 
I entered the uh, 12th and year 2024. Wow, it's working good. Uh, 12th one and 2024 year and uh, here you can see okay one is uh, too far from here or oh, let me see where I made a mistake I think here oh, one is too far okay uh, let's try again yeah it's working good and uh, it's a uh, 25 uh, Wednesday right and uh, I just uh, used this uh, Zeller's congruence uh, uh, algorithm uh, to find uh, the first day of the month and everything is simple and easy I hope you like this don't forget to give me a like guys and um, mm, Okay guys, see you in next video. Thank you. Goodbye.